this video, we're going to look at configuring a Cisco SG series network switch for use with the SVSI network AV system. Although these switches are completely standard network switches, uh, these type of managed switches uh, require a configuration to set up the multicast correctly so that the switch can control the routing of multicast uh, on the network. First of all, we must download the configuration file. We have made this available on our website under support, and you click on support, and that will take you to our technical support portal, and then you'll find a tab a little bit further down that says configuring a Cisco switch for IGMP and VLANs. Click on that. This also gives you the instructions that I'm going to go over verbally in the video, uh, but at the bottom of that page you'll find the Cisco switch configuration text file. Save that to a convenient place on your desktop. Once you've downloaded the text file from our website, you'll need to set your IP address for your computer to the same domain as the default for the Cisco switch. This is 192.168.1 and the switch IP is .254. So you're going to have to go to your network connections and you're going to select a suitable 192 address, anything except .1.254. So if I go to the uh, connection here and its properties, and you'll see you need the internet protocol TCP IP settings and look at that and you'll see I have a 192.168.1.20 the 20 doesn't matter it can be any number except 254 having set that correctly let's now go to the web browser note that Cisco switches uh, do not appear to work very well with Internet Explorer in terms of accessing their menu and configuration. So I'm using Firefox, Chrome also seems to work very well. So type in, in the address bar, 192.168.1.254 and this will take us to the login page for the Cisco switch. It will force you to change the password. So the default is Cisco, Cisco, lowercase. I'm going to log in, and it's going to request that I change the password. Keep the username the same, and then I'm going to just change the password to something different. So the old password was Cisco. New password, let's just put in password, and confirm it. It will ask you to disable the strength enforcement of the, um, of the password. And now we're logging into the switch. This takes a couple of seconds. Once we've logged in with the new password, look to the left and look for Administration tab. And then from that, select File Management and we're going to download backup config files. Make sure, and this is very important, that you select the option for the startup configuration file. That Do not choose running configuration file, but startup. So I'm going to select startup, and I'm going to browse for the file I downloaded from the SVSI website. And I put it under here and you'll see the Cisco config file and simply hit apply. And as long as you've got no error message, you can hit done and everything is ready to go. So this switch now is set up to allow the connection of N1000, N2000 devices and to properly manage the multicast data and prevent it flooding other devices plugged into the switch. 
This same configuration file works for all of the SG300 and 500 series switches. It does not work for some other Cisco switches such as their Catalyst series. You are very welcome to always contact our support staff here at SVSI for assistance in configuring other switches, but we do strongly advise you to do this before going on the job site. Let's get these switches set up and configured uh, in your shop before you go out on site. I've shown you how to take a out-of-the-box Cisco SG300 or 500 switch and configure it for use with the SVSI networked AV system. However, we do provide these switches to our dealers that are on the price list pre-configured. So please take advantage of that if it's more convenient to you. Note that on the PoE switches, only the ports labeled PoE will support our PoE devices. Typically there will be other ports, in this case these two here, that are used for linking to other switches uh, or to provide a, a, a port, a non-PoE port, should you need it. Mm -hmm.